A U.S. ban on avocado imports coming from Mexico is gone just a week after it was put in place. While this ban was relatively short-lived, only a week, industry insiders say it could have long-term impacts on Mexico's multi-billion dollar industry. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on what this suspension could mean for the supply and the price of avocados in the U.S. What are you doing? Adding avocados from Mexico. While legions of guacamole lovers were spared on Super Bowl Sunday, this past week's suspension of avocado imports from Mexico did drive some consumers to take drastic steps. But I do have a plan. I'm going to Costco and I'm buying up all the avocados. And while she may have been joking, this short-lived ban dealt a blow to the $3 billion a year industry, leading to losses in the tens of millions of dollars. Uh, it's a call for action. That's what this happened. This, this is all about. Martha Montoya is chief executive of Ag Tools, a Southern California based company that monitors the agriculture industry. She says this suspension will lead to more much needed protections for U.S. inspectors. The ban was imposed last week after one of those inspectors was threatened amid escalating drug cartel violence in Michoacan, the Mexican state where nearly 90% of the avocados the U.S. imports comes from. I'm very happy this happened. The changes will be made. Uh, our inspectors will be better taking care. Uh, they're a little bit out there on their own. In a statement, the U.S. ambassador to Mexico said the decision came after the two countries agreed to enact the measures that ensure the safety of agricultural inspectors in charge of making sure Mexican avocados don't carry diseases or pests that would harm U.S. crops. And while Montoya sees this as progress, she says the suspension, while only a week long, will still impact the supply of avocados, at least in the short term. We will have a couple of days of vacuum of good quality fruit. And while the quality, at least for a while, may decline, prices for the popular fruit will only go up. We will see a price rise regardless because there's more demand than supply. She also says this short-lived suspension could have long-term impacts on Mexico's status as the leading exporter, as companies may look to other countries to avoid future supply chain disruptions. Richard Allen, CBS 8.